ਸਸਿਕਾਲ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਸੋ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਇਜ਼ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਨੰਬਰ 1 ਡੈਰੀਵੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਫਾਰਮੂਲਾ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਫਾਰਮੂਲਾ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡਿਰਾਈਵ ਡੀਡੀਐਕਸ ਆਫ ਐਕਸ ਰੇਸ ਟੂ ਪਾਰ ਐਨ ਇਜ਼ ਇਕਵਲ ਟੂ ਐਨ ਐਕਸ ਰੇਸ ਟੂ ਪਾਰ ਐਨ ਮਾਈਨਸ 1 ਦਾ ਮੋਸਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਫਾਰਮੂਲਾ ਇਨ ਡੈਰੀਵੇਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਓ ਇਨ ਆਰਡਰ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਫਰਸਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸ ਫਾਈਂਡਿੰਗ the derivative of function 1 by x using first principle of derivative or you can say using the definition of derivative so let's do it now students we are having a function f of x is equal to 1 by x now by using first principle if we use first principle or simply the definition of derivative in terms of limit we know that f dash x f dash x means derivative of f of x like this d dx of f of x is equal to limit h approaches 0 f of the value of function at x plus h f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h so this can be con- called as first principle or just definition of derivative using this we will find the derivative of this function f of x which is equal to 1 by x or you can say x raised to power minus 1 one and same thing so now f of x is equal to 1 by h we need to understand what will be f of x plus h so you see the function is such that here the variable is x so it's reciprocal of the variable so here if it is x plus h so this would be equal to 1 by reciprocal of this that is 1 by x plus h suppose here you put f of whatever it is it should be equal to 1 by reciprocal 1 by whatever you write here right okay so now we go further so this according to the first principle f of x according to this would be equal to limit h approaches 0 h is approaching 0 f of x plus h so this is equal to by definition 1 by x f of x is 1 by x so f of x plus h would be equal to 1 by x plus h minus f of x is equal to 1 by x this whole thing divided by h very simple so this would be equal to let me change the color this would be equal to limit h approaches 0 i can write i can take 1 by h this 1 by h into so i'll take this x into x plus h right x into x plus h i multiply this in a way we can say lcm of x plus h and x so on the top i get x minus here i get x plus h all right so this is equal to limit h approaches 0 1 by h here i'll get x cancels with x minus h divided by x into x plus h let me change the color again okay well this is equal to limit h approaches 0 so you see that guys h cancels with h so what i'm getting is minus 1 divided by x into x plus h so here i can easily find the limit h approaches 0 so i'll put h is equal to 0 so this would be equal to minus 1 by x square 
this is the answer right and indirectly students when i say f of x is equal to x raised to power n and when i said f dash x derivative of x is equal to n x raised to power n minus 1 this result is justifying this because in my case the value of n in this case was minus 1 x raised to power minus 1 so obviously its derivative would be minus 1 that is n raised to power x minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus x raised to power minus 2 that's what i got the answer so now i'm going ahead proving the general formula all right so here's my general formula so students this also i'm going to derive the most important formula in derivatives so i can write again by the principle by the first principle by the first principle of derivative i'm writing in short so what do we have we have f dash x means derivative of x you can write it like this also d d x of f of x okay however you are comfortable is equal to limit h approaches 0 f of x plus h that is if this is the function f of x so let's say you want to find the function the derivative of the function at this point so you are taking different you are taking the value for the function at little bit more than function or less than function this is the meaning of x plus h because i have stated h approaches zero either just below the function value of the function just below or just after this so f of x plus h minus f of x so whenever you have taken the value of the function just after this or below this before this minus the value of the function at this divided by h right so let me change the color so this would be equal to limit h approaches zero now f of x is what f of x is x raised to power n so obviously students what will be see here f of x given is x raised to power n so obviously what will be f of x plus h whatever was inside i put the power n to it so whatever is inside i'll do the same x plus h to the power n right so this would be equal to very simple x plus h whole raised to power n minus x raised to power n divided by h so simple right now we need to whenever, whenever these are two terms so raised to power n that means it's a case of binomial expansion so i need to know binomial expansion so by binomial theorem or you can say by binomial expansion we have x plus h whole raised to power n would be equal to ncd nc0 we know this x raised to power n plus nc1 nc2 nc3 right keep going till ncn ncn nc1 x raised to power decrease the value decrease the power of x by 1 and increase the power of h by 1 here actually you can write h raised to power 0 or you need not write because anything raised to power 0 is 1 so nc1 x i'll decrease it by 1 and i'll increase the power of h by 1 0 plus 1 is h right so plus i have nc2 so it would be x raised to power again one more down and minus 2 so it will be h square am i right so i keep going further and the last one would be n c n x will diminish or you can say x raised to power 0 would be there but this is n minus n so it's 0 
and h will eventually rise to h raised to power n. This is binomial expansion. Students have said it in 11 standard, fine. So, so I can write that x plus h whole raised to power n is equal to from this nc0 is one, right? x raised to power n plus n h into x raised to power n minus one h n from here nc1 is n right plus nc2 is n into n minus one divided by two right very simple so here it will be what into h square into x raised to power n minus two right so i keep going further and what will be the last thing so ncn is again one x0 is 1, h raised to power n. Very right. So this sums up to, well, this is, I'll, I'm going to use the next page. So I can write x plus h whole raised to power n. I better use black color. So is equal to what I get? I get now, see x plus h whole raised to power n, I take x raised to power n on the left side. So this becomes x plus h whole raised to power n minus x raised to power n. So one, two, and then all these terms, right? So x plus h whole, once again, I go further. So I use the eraser and up this. No issues. So x plus h whole raised to power n minus x raised to power n would be equal to n h x raised to power n minus one plus n into n minus one by two into h square into x raised to power n minus two plus dash 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 plus in the end I get h raised to power n, right? So I'll put this value in that equation. So I had f of f dash x derivative of x would be equal to limit at limit, I'm sorry, not x. This is limit h approaches zero. So I'll put the value of what? f of x plus h, right? So that was equal to x plus h whole raised to power n. So by binomial expansion, so I've written, this is equal to what? n h x raised to power n minus one. You see, I got, I had, I had uh, this x plus h, x plus h raised to power n minus x raised to power n. So I've together found this value, right? So this is equal to, this plus n into n minus one divided by two h square x raised to power n minus two plus dash 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 plus x raised to power n. Yes. Am I right? Whole divided by whole divided by h. Right? I'm simply substituting the value. So well, this is equal to I can write limit h approaches zero. So see that I take h common, h is zero in everything. So what do I get? I get n into x raised to power n minus one. From here, from second term, I get n into n minus one into, instead of h square, I get only h into what x raised to power n minus two, this h square reduces to h. Write this divided by two, right? So on, plus what do you get? h raised to power divided by h, I get n minus one. Very right. So this is equal to limit h approaches zero. So you see that h cancels with, oh, sorry, I had this whole thing divided by h, h cancels with h. So I got this limit h approaches zero n x raised to power n minus one plus n into n minus one into x into h into x raised to power n minus two. This is divided by two 
plus dash 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 plus x raised to power n minus one, right? See guys, this is equal to, well, this is equal to very simple. So this is equal to what? You put h is equal to zero. You have h in everything. So all reduces to zero except this. So this is equal to n x raised to power n minus one. That's what is our formula. So what is that? You can write hands f dash x. That is derivative of the function at x. Derivative of the function, or we can say d d x of f of x. Derivative of f of x is equal to n x raised to power n minus one. That's it, the most important formula in derivative we are able to define. So students, it's quite simple, okay? Now based upon this, let's do a few sums. So based upon this, let's see, we want to find the derivative of, we want to find the derivative of x minus one into x minus two from the first principle or from the definition of derivative, right? So we can assume f of x is equal to x minus one into x minus two. So guys, this will be equal to what? It will be to x squared minus three x plus two, minus one into minus two is three, right? Two. So by first principle of derivative, we know that f dash x, can you speak Ishma? Is equal to limit h approaches, h zero, approaches zero f of x plus x plus h h minus f, f of, of x, x all divided by h. h. This is same as the limit we were defining delta t approaches zero when it was in t. Since this is an x, so we define an x. So now this would be equal to yeah, limit h approaches zero, what? So see that if f of x is x minus one into x minus two, okay? Just see this, f of x is x minus one into x minus two. So what will be f of x plus h? f of x plus h would be, so whatever is there inside, see uh, x, it was square of that. Whatever is there inside multiplied by minus three plus two. Is it right? Concentrate here. So whatever is there inside is now x plus h. So it should be square of this. So x plus h square. Now whatever is there inside, in, in here it was x. So we did minus three into x. So same we will do minus three into, can you tell Ishma? X plus h. No, x plus h square. Correct, you're right. Minus three into x plus h and then plus two. That's all. So this is the value of f of x plus h. And then minus f of x. What is f of x? Is this value minus x square minus three x plus two. Am I right? but we don't forget to put this in bracket, right? Whole divided by, come on, whole divided H. by H. Oh, that's good. So it's simple, simple algebra now. So this is equal to limit H approaches zero. So please expand this and do this as your homework. So you will get this ultimately to H X plus h square minus three h divided by h. Please do this, it's simple, right? x square plus h square plus two h x. Simply multiply x plus h with minus three. So you'll end up with this result, right? So this is equal to Ishma, limit h approaches zero. What is common in all these three terms? See, this is of the form h. of zero by zero h. So we're gonna, get rid of the term which is causing this expression to become 
zero by zero, or we can say this uh, rational function to become zero by zero, and that is x, h, I'm sorry. So we take h and then h is there down also. So we are left with two x plus h minus three, and very simple. So put h is equal to zero. So what is the answer? Two, come on, two x minus minus three. Three, okay, but let's do this in a creative way, Ishma. See how you have done it, done it like this, but we have just derived the result. If f of x is equal to x raised to power n minus, I'm sorry, x raised to power n, then we have just derived the result. What was f dash x? That is derivative of f of x was equal to, we have just derived the result. n, raise, n, n x n raised to power n minus one, right? So we will do it in this way, n x raised to power n minus one. So here, f of x is equal to x square minus three x plus two. So what would be f dash x would be equal to f dash of, f dash of will, you know, will apply uh, algebra of derivative. Like we had algebra of limits, we have algebra of derivative. So algebra of, let's split this into three functions. One is constant function, this and this. So it will be addition of all, right? Derivative of addition of all. So f dash of x square minus what? Can you tell Ishma? f dash of 3x, 3x. plus f dash of three. Oh, that's two. good. No, 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 I'm so sorry. sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. You're right, you're right. This is two, right? So see that what will be f dash of x square by this formula, so simple. n x is to power n minus one. So put the indices in the front, two in the front, then x is to power, come on, n minus one, n is two. Two minus one. Two minus one, very good. Minus, so what will be, three can be taken out. You know, this is lambda. So what will be the derivative of x? See, this is x raised to power Divide. one. So one into x raised to power one minus one. Is it right? Plus derivative of a constant function is always zero because derivative is all about rate of change of a function. There's no rate of change in two. You take two to Japan, Canada, Arabian Sea, two will be two, you know? So, you know, it's like uh, somebody is not moving and you say, what is the rate of change of his velocity? And say, you know, you cannot define because the person is not moving, right? His velocity is not changing, right? So this will be equal to, can you tell? This will be equal to two into x raised to power two minus one is what? Two x. Two x. And, and what will be this? One x raised to power one minus one x raised to power zero is one minus three. So beautiful. You end up getting same with same result, right? You get two, my, two x minus three. Oh, that's good. So we do some more sums also. We have we have five minutes. We can do more sums also. All right. Let me change the color. Take care of your eyes. There you go. Just one second. Fine. So now he says find the derivative of find the derivative of exponential function, okay? So find the derivative of, like we have, once again, I'm sorry, I'll change the color. So we have f of x is equal to e raised to power x. It's exponential function, right? He says, find the derivative of this. So we want to find the derivative of this. So it's very simple. Again, by using the first principle, we know, can you state first principle, Ishma? f dash x is equal to limit. Limit h approaches zero, f of x plus h minus f of a upon a. A, don't say a, f of x divided by h, right? Using this, we can write what? Here, f of x, f dash x would be equal to limit what? h approaches 
zero. So Ishma, if f of x is equal to e raised to power x, right? So can you tell what will be f of x plus h? I'll give you a hint. So whatever is inside, put that as index of e. So whatever is inside, put this, put that as index of e. X plus h. Is it right? f of x is equal to e raised to power x. Like it's like saying f of two is equal to e raised to power two. A function is like this: f of minus four is equal to e raised to power minus four. So f of x would be e raised to power x. Then what is f of x plus h? E raised to power x plus h. So this will be e raised to power x plus h minus e raised to power x divided by h. All right. So this would be equal to f dash x would be equal to what? e raised to power x. Let me take it in a common. So this would be e raised to power h minus one divided by h. Well, this is equal to. Sorry, I must introduce limit without limit derivative. Doesn't is not there. Without axis of rotation, you cannot define couple torque moment. And without x without this limit, there's no meaning defining the derivative. So we have this limit. H approaches zero. So what I'll get? So I'll get again this e raised to the power h minus one. I can, you know, I can expand. So it will be e raised to the power x. You know, I can write e raised to the power x is e e raised to the power x. Ishma would be common. E raised to the power x will be common. So I can take e raised to the power e raised to the power x outside. Would be now limit h raised to h approaches zero. E raised to the power H minus one. Am I right? So this would be equal to what? This would be equal to. You tell me. So we added upon H go. Oh yeah, it's there. I'm sorry. Divided by H. Okay, so this will be equal to limit h approaches zero. 